Hi, I'm Chris Buck from the band Buck and Evans, and I've been a victory artist for about the last six months, I guess now, during which time I've been playing the V40 Deluxe. And the last kind of month or so, I guess, started hearing murmurings of the, the V140, the Super Duchess, um, which very much piqued my interest. To be honest, my kind of first impression, I guess, was uh, who the hell is making a 100 watt amp in 2019, but when you play it, it very much makes sense. The V140 very much takes over from where the V40 maybe leaves off, and I think it'll probably appeal to a slightly different type of player, to be honest. It's, uh, it's immediate, it's incredibly responsive. First I had a chance to play it at the Birmingham Guitar Show on the weekend. Uh, not the most ideal situations, I guess, for first impressions of an amp. A little bit loud, a little bit chaotic. But today's been a great chance to just kind of sit down with it, spend a little bit more time with it, and just get to know it. the obvious question um, is, you know, who on earth needs all that volume in this day and age, um, you know, with stages getting increasingly quiet. But for me personally, it's not so much about the volume, so much as it's about the way in which it delivers that power. <laughs> And honestly, with a 100 watt amp, the first thing that I'm going to be looking for is headroom. I'm a big fan of pedals. I tend to use my pedals to get to kind of gain sounds out of the amp. So for me, it's always about how much can I really push this amp before we're starting to kind of get break up, I guess. And the way in which it delivers its power is just effortless. There's an immediacy and a kind of instant responsiveness that you probably won't get with a low wattage. Um, it's just handle, handles everything you throw at it with ease, which is kind of very much what I'm about. spent a lot of time today really running through, I guess, the full gamut of sounds from it, you know, from that kind of clean high headroom strat thing, through to really kind of cranking the front end with a 335 or a PRS. The kind of high headroom, I guess, is very much the take home message for a lot of guys. You'd be surprised, you know, how much gain you can get out of it if you really push it. <laughs> Thank you. 
One thing that's different about the V140 is it now has a three position mid switch. Um, I've been very accustomed to using the V4C in its down position on the mid kick, um, but my kind of initial finding, I guess, with the 140 is if you push it down to position three with a strap maybe, it's a little bit bright, a little bit kind of piercing, great for pushing through a band mix, but in isolation, maybe a little bit harsh, but that really then comes into its own if you're using the kind of gain from the amp, I guess. So maybe with a 335, down in position three gives you that clarity and that kind of very kind of crystal top end that nails that kind of British blues thing. We also heard the high and low power mode today. It's a switch on the back, which takes it down from its full 100 watt mode, down to around about 30. And I guess, you know, first impressions, it's still incredibly loud either way. But obviously with the 30 watt mode, you're able to kind of push it a little bit harder and get a little bit more kind of just compression, I guess, and sponginess out of it. Um, but either way, it's still immensely loud. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the V140 is its inbuilt spring reverb. It's a valve-driven spring reverb that's just lush for days. And it's actually got a great tremolo circuit as well. It just It's instant kind of Americana, I guess, whether you're looking to use it for just that kind of low warble through to that kind of maybe, you know, use it as a rhythmic effect. It's just incredibly versatile. Just like the V40 Deluxe, the voice switch is subtle, to be honest. It's kind of one of those set and forget things. I tend to use it in its down position. It's a little bit kind of more hair on the note, I guess, a little bit more gainy, a tad. Um, and it's just one of those things that it has a little bit more presence in, I would say. So with this, if you're looking to kind of get just a little bit more out of it, maybe with single coils, down really works very well. But if you're looking to get maybe the kind of ultimate high headroom out of this amp, you know, with humbuckers, maybe stick it in its up position, in position one. been a fun day playing around with a couple of different sounds, different guitars, different types of pickups, and really just pushing this amp to its kind of limits, I guess, to see where it'll take you. I think, to be honest, my favorite thing about the way it just handles that power is just how effectively it delivers everything that you throw at it. It's so immediate in its response, in its recovery time. It's just incredibly powerful and incredibly effective at delivering that power. A couple of situations, I guess, kind of new to me, really, are using the 335 with that much gain, just pushing it into different territories that I maybe don't go all that often. And just, you know, I mean, personally, the kind of the ultimate is that strat with a kind of clean headroom thing. Um, just delivers everything we've thrown at it in spades. It just makes you play differently, makes you really kind of think about your note choice and the way in which you attack the guitar. Just because every little subtle nuance really comes through and it's, you know, not necessarily something that lower headroom or lower wattage amps deliver with such clarity and such punch. It's just, uh, it's got it for days. <laughs> 